Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. I'm going to talk loud. It's raining on the greenhouse. I'm trying to uh, get this thing ready to fire up. I've got a my coast headlight here. It uh, throws a real wide beam. Did a video on that. I like it. It's not really... Uh, well, anyway got to kind of hold it by hand so it doesn't obscure the the shading and whatnot. The black is uh, where I fired it before in that other test run. The 16 minute 61 brick rocket stove. And that I got to give a shout out to Bro Audio and oh gosh for, for refractory mix and whatnot ideas. Uh, does a lot with rocket stoves. And the guy that did the 61 brick thing, and I'm sorry, I'll find the link and put it down below. Anyway, I'm beat. I was going to check the time. No idea what time it is, but it's late. Uh, playing with Coralite and uh, various abrasive, glassy things. Wear a respirator, a real one. But uh, the uh, wool, that was used with uh, spray foam also a very hazardous much more hazardous oh by the way what a segue much more hazardous than aircrete aircrete is like about as safe as uh oh gosh where is it it's outside dish soap and uh you know um bubbles shaving cream so all right i have a mix of goo and that is, uh, I'll give the formula later, ballpark, it's uh, seven parts fire clay, uh, ten parts perlite, and two parts refractory cement. So, used Grandma Lola's, 94-year-old Grandma, her wheelbarrow, and where's the hoe? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> you know, kind of doing it by hand, doing small batches. So I thought, well, that little hole would be nice. Busted off. Hasn't been repaired, but boy, it's perfect for sitting in here in close quarters and mixing. Oh, uh, there it is. Mm. I'm not going to. Just a little thing, but. I can go backwards and forwards one-handed. Chop, 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 chop. Pretty cool. Whee, doggy, as Uncle Jed would say. Okay, I'm ready to start packing. I got fire brick that I we had like four, three or four fire brick left over, so I chopped them. And if you real careful, you can do it, you know, just, um, you know, stress them and then beat them. And I did what I wanted to do. I've got four extra brick in there in chunks. And um, so what I'm going to do is put a layer of rock, pack, put more rock. i got to come up, see if I can get up in there. If it, if it's a light, I could. Oh, do not knock wheelbarrow of goop over. I will be an unhappy camper. So, so I'm going to go down in here with the camera. Uh, it's going to get weird, but angle and whatnot. So I'm going to patch up to the middle there. If you can see that where the seams of the... I'm going to reach forward as far as I can from here, and then the rest I'll get from the other side. I was going to just build a box on this side and do the um, refractory mix on this side, but then I... Wanted to mix up a whole bunch of it, and I did. So I have some in a bucket there. It's about a three-gallon bucket. I got about probably about three gallons in that, two or three-gallon bucket. No, it's a three-gallon bucket, and it's almost full. So uh, bulking it up with fire brick, and then against the wall floor, I'll put uh, the various rocks, and I've got some blocky rocks ready to go that have square edges. And then um, pack it in and tamp it 
I have a 2x4 tamper somewhere around here. Should be over in this end of the place. Oh, we got the lid on. The gasket got, the lid got dunked in water, so it was soaking wet. I think I mentioned that before. There's my tamper. And uh, I am not taking the lid off. The barrel is already sealed down in there. I'm going to go ahead and give a shot of this. And then up. Yeah, it looks like a mess, but that's okay. It's got about two inches of refractory around the bottom of the barrel. I use some scrap steel to cut fittings to seal it, and then I'm going to pack it from top. Well, it's already packed from the top. I'm going to pack it from the bottom. Only issue is right here, the, um, the flange, the uh, floor vent comes out. I got it outside the barrel, and I might have been better served to leave it inside the barrel. There will be a little bit of a choke point there. And I'm hoping it'll act like a venturi, but I may have back puffing in if so. I will have to remedy that, so I'm not going to... Well, anyway, I'll find that out, cross that bridge when we come to it. But, um, which point being is I don't want to do too much hammer and chiseling here. <laughs> but I've got to seal this up or it's not going to work right, so. <clears throat> I guess that's about it. Um, coulda, shoulda, woulda, but didn't, you know. I should have left that flange inside. In fact, I can still do that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm glad I talked to myself. Alrighty, that is it. Little fire clay balls or refractory cement's getting probably harder. It's not fired yet. When it fires, it'll get really hard. Okay, that's about it. I'm guessing it's midnight, but I'm not going to turn it off. Okay, and then uh, all that's already... Oh, I got it all rigged up with uh, paper. Ready to light. If I didn't show that earlier, I've gotten it outside rigged. So I can take that cap off, fire that. I'll, I'll go outside first, fire the one outside under the rain vent, rain cap, then fire that one. I could actually have one over at the end of the T2, but at the end of the, oh, uh, what do you call that? The, the view, the 10 feet run in and out. There's a clean out over there and I could put it, but you know, it's like, okay, I'm being. OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. All right, that's it. Good night. God bless. I'm going to get this done tonight. So, I don't think you can see the sparkly. There's just a, a billion little sparkly glints in there. That's from the glass, the perlite. Weird stuff, let me tell you. I'll do a video on that later. All right. Yahweh bless everyone. Get out of Babylon. Do not be an insane Babylonians. Come away, my beloved. Do not be partaker in her sins, lest you be partakers in her judgment, in the wrath to come. So... This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon, if you are listening to this, you are the remnant.